Coming up on this week's news, four deaths in a hazardous materials leak bring the National Transportation Safety Board to investigate the Ohio Turnpike. Tropical Storm Debbie washes out plans, delaying the opening of a new segment of the Triangle Expressway in North Carolina. And the Delaware River Port Authority is tangled in a new legal spat. This is a toll hike looms for four key toll bridges. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's update of all that's coming down the pike. A series of high-speed and fatal crashes on the Ohio Turnpike in the past week has impelled the National Transportation Safety Board to begin a probe of those accidents, including whether the design of the new Ohio Turnpike toll plazas may have contributed to those accidents. NTSB investigators and the chairman of the agency itself, Jennifer Hammondy, are in the Toledo area this week for that probe. All three crashes happened August 15th, just west of Maumee, and all between the hours of 5.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. The first happened at mile marker 48 eastbound, leaving one person dead. The second happened only a half hour later, this time at mile marker 49, also eastbound at the new Ohio Turnpike Toll Plaza, a combined open road and booth-style plaza. A hazardous material spill and two deaths resulted from that second crash, with the hazmat leak sending first responders themselves to the hospital. A third crash involving another fatality, the fourth of the morning, happened around 6.30 on the westbound lanes. The NTSB chair held a news conference Friday in which she explained investigators will be reviewing the design of the plaza, the speed limits on the approach to the plazas, as well as guide signs drivers use. However, Ms. Hamadi was clear to emphasize the investigation is following normal protocols and no specific contributor to the accident, including the drivers themselves, has been ruled out or in at this early stage. The Raleigh News and Observer reported this week the official opening of the Triangle Expressway's new southern leg has been put on hold a couple of weeks at least thanks to Tropical Storm Debbie. The new southern extension through Wake County was to have opened August 28th, that's next week, but the tropical downpours brought by Debbie caused erosion issues that need to be addressed. News and Observer cited North Carolina's Turnpike Authority spokesman Lori Hodges, who told the paper a new opening date has not yet been selected, but officials are trying to get it open sometime in September, so long as no new setbacks materialize. The new segment will connect NC-55 and Apex with I-40 across an 18-mile-long new stretch of the roadway. From the Are You Kidding Me file, the state of California, which wants to begin phasing out diesel trucks on its roadways, is seeking approval from the Environmental Protection Agency for its new state regulation and before Election Day. Cal Matters reports California's Air Resources Board Chair Leanne Randolph submitted the request to the Biden administration in hopes of getting EPA approval for the 2023 law before a change of leadership in Washington. The diesel phase-out plan seeks to end sale of all fossil-fueled medium and large trucks in the state beginning in 2036, with drivers and fleets required to phase out use of their rigs by 2042, converting to either electric or hydrogen power for alternatives. Trucking companies in particular have told the EPA such deadlines are unworkable and would cause considerable harm to the economy. From the In Case You Missed It file, New Jersey and the Delaware River Port Authority are caught up in a new legal tango after DERPA filed a federal suit this month to block subpoenas issued by the state of New Jersey's Controller's Office. Those subpoenas demand documents related to vendors, contracts, and in particular, long-term land leases for property controlled by DERPA. New Jersey's subpoenas also demand sworn testimony under oath about the maintenance of the organization's records. In the suit, DERPA says New Jersey has no authority to investigate the agency, saying it operates under congressional approval as an autonomous sovereign authority. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, the DERPA's suit contends the agency was willing to voluntarily provide copies of the documents requested by New Jersey, but that offer was withdrawn when the subpoenas were issued. The legal spat comes as DERPA is set to raise toll rates on four key commuter bridges in the South Jersey, Philadelphia area. That toll hike is the first in 13 years and is set to happen on September 1st. 
Coming up next week, we'll take a look at those toll hikes and the four bridges that are involved. Until then, drive safely, remembering situational awareness. Thanks again, as always, for watching from all of us at Turnpikes.com, the Turnpike Authority.